Victor Moses went through many highs and lows in his career, as well as in his personal life. He came to the attention of the Premier League almost 12 years ago in the 2011-12 season, not only due to his rapid pace and ability to play almost any position on the pitch, but also because of his goal celebrations. But what happened to him? Having shown to the Premier League what he was capable of, the big teams wanted to snatch him up instantly. Chelsea was the most willing, signing him at the beginning of the 2012-13 season for £10 million. Moses was ready to join the big boys, playing on the right wing most of the time. But Moses wasn't a guaranteed starter in the team though, he wasn't even in the squad a lot of the time, appearing for the club a total of 44 times throughout the season, scoring a total of 10 goals including the Europa League. Chelsea ended up advancing to the Europa League final. Did Chelsea win? Yes, they did. Did Moses score? No, he was benched for the final even after scoring in all quarter-finals and semi-final games. That must have hurt. After that season, the Nigerian international went on loan to Liverpool, scoring on his debut for them against Swansea. And that was that. His time at Liverpool was mostly spent on the bench or not even being called up to the squad. A season later, he was sent out on loan again, this time to the Premier League side Stoke City. He played 23 games that season, all of which he played on the left wing and tallied a total of 13 goal contributions. He also started seeing his first injury issues which would later on haunt him, facing thigh issues and missing out on 16 games that season. But at least here, I personally believe, Moses had one of his best seasons. He showed the quality and talent that lies within him and was hungry to set Stamford Bridge alight. But Chelsea had other plans. Benching him on his first game back and not even calling him up for the next three games, they sent him out on loan again, this time to West Ham. His first five games proving the doubters wrong by scoring a goal and assisting from the left and right wing twice. And that was it. He started a few games and was subbed on a few times, but that was his spell at West Ham over. The 16-17 season is probably what most people remember Moses for. Having impressed Conte in pre-season, Conte assigned Moses to play right wing back and this worked phenomenally. Moses started every game for Chelsea, unless he was out with small injuries and playing a more defensive role. His position made for him was perfect and Moses himself even agrees having praised Conte that he changed his game almost entirely. Moses got three goals as well as assists that season, but the bridge will mainly remember him for his class defending and work rate, being able to hunt down the fast paced wingers with ease. To top it all off, Moses and his teammates went on to win the Premier League that season in style. The situation was similar in the next season, still under Conte's management, Moses had almost completely transitioned into playing right wing back and only missed a few games due to his hamstring once again. Moses had finally found his place in the squad and was performing week in and week out. His market value soared to 20 million euros, scoring three goals and assisting four times. The next season was looking to be the same. However, Chelsea's management changed, with Maurizio Sarri in charge. And that was basically it for Moses. He started a game and was subbed after nine minutes, and not in the squad for the next five games. He was given the chance against Liverpool, however this time subbed off after 17 minutes, which was his final game for Chelsea, as he was never called up again for the remaining 16 games. In January 2019, Moses was sent on loan to join Fenerbahce in Turkey, switching into a more attacking position again on the left and right wing, only missing two games in the remaining season due to a groin injury and tallying four goals. Sadly, they missed out on playing in Europe as Fenerbahce came sixth in the league, yet the fans had nothing but praise for the Nigerian. In January, his loan at the Turkish Giants was over and instead of returning to Chelsea, he went to play for his mentor once again. Conte was managing Inter Milan at the time, who played Moses in his most efficient position again and took part in the big title race against the Juventus. Unfortunately, it did not end in victory, but Moses played a big part in Milan, becoming runners-up that season. Moses returned to London, but left for Moscow, the capital of Russia, just weeks later to play for Spartak Moscow. In the 2021 season there, he scored and assisted four times in 18 games, with a memorable late equaliser that secured Spartak the runners-up position in the Russian league, entering them into the Champions League qualification round. As there was an option to buy this season on loan, Spartak activated it and signed him for 5 million euros. Moses had cemented himself as a valuable defensive right midfielder, but also had the possibility to be played at left midfield, left wing, and sometimes even being seen at left back. He has since assisted and scored five more times, and his contract at Spartak ends in 2024. However, back in 2022, Moses extended his contract with Spartak on the 10th of February, and 14 days later, Russia invaded Ukraine. Burnley, a Premier League club at the time, tried to sign Moses in an attempt to rescue Victor Moses from the distress of being left in limbo in warring Russia. 
but the Premier League denied the request, leaving Moses stuck in the capital, isolated from family and friends. Having looked at his socials though, he seems to be doing alright, and we hope him and his family are healthy and well. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video about Victor Moses and his story since he became a prominent name at Wigan, please like the video and share it with your friends and make sure to subscribe. See you in the next one. Bye!